expanse, critical to life on Earth. And there's no better animal to represent the story of the ocean with all its splendor and uncertainty than the killer whale, or as it's scientifically known, the Orsinus orca. The orca lives in every corner of the ocean, from the Arctic to the Atlantic, the Southern to the Indian, to the mighty Pacific and beyond. Welcome to SeaWorld's oh. Orca Encounter. I'm Stephanie and I'm honored to introduce you to this intriguing and majestic animal. It also helps with regulating their body's temperatures. 
The flippers on the sides of their bodies are called pectoral flippers and are mainly used for steering and stopping. Pectoral flippers have five bony digits inside them, just like the human hand. The lobes at the end of the tail are called flukes. Tail flukes are a killer wheel's engine, propelling them close to 30 miles per hour, about as fast as our speedboats. But they swim the fastest and use the most power when propelling. They're nearly 10,000 pound bodies. Pursue and catch their prey. 
Every day they cooperate to survive in the wild oceans of the world. The orca's hunting techniques are as varied as the whales themselves. Norwegian killer whales will circle herring, herding them together. The whales use sounds to coordinate with each other and to disorient the herring. With the fish confused and contained, the whales stun them with their powerful tail flukes, making for an easy meal. Thank <laughs> you. 
Pokusin. You'll see them doing this when catching a ride in the wake of the boat, or when surfing in the waves. like to be touched and rub their bellies on rocks when they can, much like how whales in British Columbia would. You'll even see whales imitating each other in the wild. We see it here at SeaWorld all the time. Our whales are always mimicking and learning from each other. Now, playful behavior has its purpose. For example, a tail whip is a hunting technique used to tongue fish. Mm -hmm. But today, I think these whales might be stunning. Scientists from NOAA, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, 
took measurements of the killer whales living here, including pregnant whales. By comparing these measurements with drone footage of killer whales in the wild, scientists are able to monitor the wild population's nutritional and reproductive states. Other research has been done here at SeaWorld on the mother whale's milk composition. This research will help create an effective model to understand how toxins in the ocean impact wild killer whales and their milk supply. What we learn from the whales in our care every day is actively helping whales in the wild survive. And just by being here today, you've supported our rescue, research, and conservation efforts all around the world. If we work together, like the killer whale, we can protect the future of the Orsinus orca, this beautiful planet that we all share.